Now, after a year-long suspension for policy violations following his cheating scandal, Ime Yudoka will be named the new head coach for the Houston Rockets. But social media is conflicted on whether to congratulate him or continue to shame him for cheating on Nia Long. What is y'all's take on this situation? Al, I see you with a little grin, <laughs> like you ready to let loose. I got to let think? loose. Listen, we're talking, his new contract, everybody, is $28.5 million. I think he did okay. I think he's he he he's come out better than he was before he went in. And they're finally, he's earned this new contract because all the embarrassment that the daggone Boston Celtics <clears throat> tried to take him and his family through, he's going straight to the bank. Good job, congratulations. Hugh, what you think? Nia Long should have held on to her man. <laughs> like you said, right? She should have held on to he her damn her man. Y'all are, she need to lead and I, when y'all sitting up with a cheating Negro, that's a bus driver, okay? <laughs> Listen, I hate to be this person, but all of them cheat, okay? All of them do. And the more money they got, and the more access to women they got, and the more access to travel with your ass being at home, they all cheat. Baby, I'd rather be cheap and Fendi than fool of the loom, okay? <laughs> she should have stayed with her damn man. But on the flip side of things, aside from the knee alarm bit, I like the fact that this was a black man who panned out better in the end because oftentimes we don't get this grace. Oftentimes we see our, our counterparts of another persuasion, they lose a good job and then another company will hire them and forgive their past transgressions. Whereas we oftentimes have to take a lesser job. So I'm glad that he got an MBA job and didn't end up somewhere at a community college or teaching YMCA basketball, that people actually saw that for what it was. It was his personal business and they saw his talent and gave him a good job. I agree with y'all. Uh, I don't, I blame the Boston Celtics on this one. It was really none of our goddamn business unless Neil wanted to put this out there. And the way uh -huh. they just pushed forward and exposed only him and not the hussy that was, a, that was down with it. It wasn't like he was sexually harassing someone. Yeah. He was in a consensual affair with another person and she was protected. This was put on blast. And I think, um, I think for Neo is more about, well, she's not broke. So she's, she has her own money and she can get guys with money. She mm -hmm. always had men come at her. So she's not really needing to stay for right. money. Right. For her, the way the self is put it out there, they humiliated her and I, they probably left her no choice where mm -hmm. she felt like she, it would fuck up her brand as an, a, mm -hmm. as an A-lister. Right. If you are deemed as a weak woman, especially a black, they don't give us grace with that. Oh, you a sucker. You, oh, you, oh, you staying for the money. I think she had no choice. And even if she wanted to forgive him, she probably couldn't because of what the Celtics did and putting all that shit out on the streets that we did not need to know. That should have been a personal issue. She could spin the block now. She, she yeah. can spin the block. Mm -hmm. She can spin the block, baby. Put put her on some old nasty red bottles, Manolo Blahnik. <laughs> get, get somebody to style her and be sitting courtside. Child, please, them um, them them uh, people probably put her ass on the payroll. Spin the block, Neil. Long. You put in too much time. You pay, baby. Bay. You put in <laughs> too much time. And let me tell you something. He is a good coach because what he did for the Celtics couldn't know they could not keep him out of work. He is a good coach. You better go back and get your man. Don't you be no damn fool worrying about these bitches that's sleeping with Tyrone and he's sleeping with Shanika. You better go get your man, girl. So I do. <laughs>